Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Fly My Channel. This is Fly Eagle 320, and uh, today video going to be a different one. And this there are uh, I mean there are two perspective in this video. See, uh, this is a uh, Azure Poly OV10, North American OV10 aircraft, uh, which is a form of a fighter aircraft. Uh, and uh, there are two version of this. One is a free one. Which is available in flightsim.to, which I am using right now, and another one is available at um, markets, uh, Microsoft Marketplace, uh, which you can find in a zip. Uh, so I wanted to try the free one first uh, before purchasing the uh, payware one, and the free one looks average uh, compared to when I seen in uh, another videos of my fellow YouTuber Jonathan Beckett. So this one is a pretty average one. So there is no any payloads or anything. So if you want payloads and uh, 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 missiles or any type of thing, a weapon uh, type of thing, so you have to purchase from the marketplace. But I'm not want, don't want to purchase this right now. But I just want to test the payware, uh, so freeware one. So this is the freeware aircraft, and it is not that bad. As it looks uh, from outside, and uh, this uh, is a okayish kind of aircraft, and uh, it looks pretty basic. But uh, from outside, look uh, pretty okay. But uh, when we show you inside, the cockpit is very basic one. So you can see this is all the basic one. In payware, uh, you will get. Uh, actually, real, uh, which would look like real in the real life, and uh, this is a very basic uh, cockpit in the freeware version, and I think so. If you are into this type of military aircraft and you want to fly the military aircraft, then you can go for the payware aircraft. Uh, that is what I wanted to tell you guys. So. Let us see how the things work. Uh, let us fly how and let us run a pattern, and then we will see how what what type of aircraft is this in the freeware version. Okay, guys. So let us start from the first. So as per the procedure, uh, there is a battery disconnect which is not available in the freeware version. I don't know where to find it. And we will go to the left. So here uh, we will be using this power. Okay, so that is done. And let insert power section. So insert power section. Okay, so um. So battery is on, and so I am unable to find the battery disconnect switch. I think it is not available. And here, so this is completely look different from the payware version. Uh, so we have to go. We have to go as per what is available. And now the next one is. Uh, Next one is uh, sorry. So we will be uh, in the right panel. We will be using the com com. It's all automatic here. So here nothing to do. So nothing to switch it on. So I will whatever is available. I will do it. So now uh, so let us go to, uh, directly to the and starting the aircraft. So anti collision on and. Uh, Power condition and power and condition lever. So left condition should be switched off. So this is the left. So it is off. It is off, right? Okay. And right should be start up. Okay. Uh, okay. So it will be start up. Okay. So now. We have to start the aircraft. 
so let us let us start the aircraft so it's not starting So so something is wrong something i'm missing i think we have unable to find the battery battery switch somewhere here so we are unable to find the oh, i started so it is we can see the torque here so the rpm is um, rpm is settled now so let us start the second one so once it started so rpm is mounting now so you can see the aircraft is started now okay i've done little bit of here and there mistakes here so it's not a problem we are learning here and control b for the for the qns local qns so aircraft is ready now so what is the next so the engine has been started so panel lights should be sh sh on okay so we'll on everything pit out light that oh we don't want this one wing tail light on and so done and flaps to take off condition so it should be in the take off condition and your damper is on so it is set here and everything is set it seems and now pitot like pitot is on already okay and external master lights so i don't have that here so it is here mm no it is not here as well so this is a very basic uh, aircraft uh, can't expect much much here everything is set i f f to norm so i'm sorry so this one it's a norm external light to bright so it is already then done and condition lever to then so for now it is done so there done mm, this white is coming like this i don't know okay so rpm is not moving so 
so left engine is on uh, so right engine should okay now it is moving so I was wrong here uh, now it is RPM is popping up so it will go on by itself Let us wait. So we will take off from here. Or from here. From here. Not too much of a uh, runway is required for this aircraft. And your damper is on. Plant. Your damper is on. Flap is also to the takeoff position. And I think it's done. Okay, so I think so. Let us move. Uh, so, before that, uh, let us see. Okay, so I think it's it. Okay, so let us move now. Okay, so aircraft is moving by itself. So not uh, too much of air uh, power is required here. <coughs> I think set, there is any setting issue. Okay, so there is a setting issue. Let me see that first. Uh, I will put it to let me check first. I got okay. Uh, let us do what it have. Uh, let us not make any mess up here. Okay guys, so if you are new to the channel, please like, comment and subscribe uh, and it makes, I make a lot of effort to make this uh, while the free times as well. Um, so aircraft is rolling like a rocket. Uh, where is the runway? Mm. Else. The sound is a little, little bit slow if you can observe that and let us see Where are we right now? Let us take the shortcut here. Ah, oh, that's the runway. Okay. So Okay, take well, let us take the left and from there we will start to take off.
this is a normal uh, US Air Force station. So last time I had made one more media from here. Uh, okay, so we'll take the left here. We will let run line up with the runway. Okay, so we are in the run to the runway itself, so this runway is a little bit of different. Yes, so, okay guys, so let us take off. Uh, before taking off, let me check once more everything. Okay, so everything is set here. We have to push it to the... take off position and so everything remain everything is fine okay so guys uh, so we are taking off mm, okay so let's move Take off like a rocket. Gear up. Flaps up. Aircraft is stable. What is that? Error. That's okay, we'll ignore for that time uh, right now. to do it a normal flight uh, let me put it to the normal flight then aircraft is not uh, speeding up but I don't know why uh, sorry I have 3000 feet Screenshot. Airfare is still stable. If you want uh, the review for the Paver aircraft, you can uh, watch my fellow YouTuber Jonathan Beckett's uh, video. Uh, he has explained it very well and he is one of my go-to person when I wanted to buy a purchase an aircraft so he is a wonderful guy and he explained it so simple in a layman manner uh, I think he is the right person for you to explain your those things let me try to land it I don't know how much uh, how much 
much successful I am going to be. Otherwise, I will uh, stop the video here itself. Uh, if I am not able to successfully to land this aircraft, so. I'm just going on the pattern now. So this is a reason aircraft of not popping. Okay, now I got it. Now it is. Now there is no drag. So that is the reason I was uh, having an issue while. Uh, okay, let me that uh, make it as a before itself. Um, it's as about default. There's issue with that. Okay, so let us not confuse it. Okay, so now it is perfect. And the runway is visible still now. Okay. Making a long runway, longest approach. Uh, aircraft is now ramming to the speed. Slow down the aircraft now. Because I am into the landing position. So let us use the flaps. Aircraft is slowing down because I am on the That's the runway there. And sir, we enter the fire angle. We will uh, put the landing gear down. So I'm not too much of a military pilot, ex uh, military aircraft expert, and I am like a normal taking or uh, taking off landing type of guy. So. I may be a very naive in my approach. Uh, don't expect too much of a technicality from me. So landing gear down. So now we are landing now. Hope you guys are loving it. When this freeware aircraft 
is not okay uh, okay from an exterior perspective this aircraft is look beautiful but if you are going to buy purchase the better one i mean i want a better experience on this aircraft so i would suggest you to go for the uh, paver so that is the only thing you can uh, i think uh, you can uh, experience better i this is aircraft is a very i mean it's not that good but okay so now let us focus on the landing part i don't know how much i'm going to and this uh, and this uh, this aircraft takes very less uh, runway so it's very easy for me to land even it is a long landing so okay we are right on the pathi and this doesn't happen with my me most of the time What is happening? Stuck. What are the bread? What are the bread? Okay, so we are down. So we will take the next exit. Where is the next exit? Yeah, we are the next exit. I uh, will take this exit now. So I will take up the flap I love this uh, takeoff and landing pattern, and uh, it was really beautiful. And I didn't expect I would uh, make this much far. So if you are, if you watch my video this much far, so please. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Make it. Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't use my tracker. It's only uh, today, so it's okay. No problem. Only one word I can say: it is a flyable aircraft. It landable aircraft. It doesn't give you any pain in your head. And I think so. Just you want to fly, you want to experience. Okay. So if you want to experience the complete aircraft, so you have to go for the paver. And uh, the paver will cost you somewhere around. Twenty, twenty, thirty dollars, twenty, twenty-five dollars. It seems I don't know to calculate in uh, US dollar because in my uh, currency is somewhere around thousand five hundred rupees. So thousand five hundred rupees is somewhere around twenty, twenty-five dollar. It seems if I'm not if I'm correct. So I will stop here somewhere and I want to stop there only where I started it. No, no, I started here. So, somewhere around twenty dollars will cost you. I kind of calculated it. So twenty dollars, you want you want experience some like some 
how the, sorry if you want to experience how the aircraft gives you the value i think this aircraft is fine so if you want but what whatever it is guys so don't invest in airbus a380 what uh, mr bredock has um, bredock has uh, recently released so it's a shit it's a aircraft it really it's a very underrated air it's a very underrated aircraft i mean i don't know how to use the words okay so i'm i'm going to try it in few, next few days if it permits me uh, budget permits me otherwise i am not going to go ahead with that aircraft so let us that is shutting down now yes so that all that is all good is here uh, i mean it do its work uh, is not that bad aircraft for the price you get okay, i don't want gsx menu so it do does its work but i am not satisfied with this um, what we say i mean the performance i mean it's not that good compared to and actually pay where so that is what the concern is apart from that it's a pliable aircraft and good it does it work you can land yes that's all what you can do in here so when you can't open this one i don't know see you can't open this one aircraft so not bad for flying and as per i what on flown it's very smooth aircraft to land and that is only thing beautiful about this apart from that the cockpit is very i mean basic very ba pretty basic and uh, like a plastic and uh, but if you come to the flyable thing it is okay -ish, but it's your call whether you want to buy this aircraft but i enjoyed flying this a pattern was good uh, the pattern what i was flying was good and that's it nothing else to say uh if you like the video please kindly like like comment and subscribe uh, because it take a lot of effort to do a uh, video normally and let, let us meet in the next uh, next uh, type of aircraft any i don't know which type of aircraft on a review or which type of aircraft i gonna fly uh it depends uh, if i time or budget agrees so i will try to fly airbus a380 of bredock and give you the review about that aircraft so as per what my fellow youtuber selling it is not good uh, so because we know we are all waiting for uh, fly eagle 3 uh, sorry uh, fly baba Air, airbus 380 so that is the aircraft we all are waiting for since two years so two to three years so so let us see what happens so let me uh, in the next video until then please like comment and subscribe and have a nice day thank you